video is going to show you how to do translations in Khan Academy. I'm going to do the first problem in Khan Academy, which is triangle A, B, C. Translation means to slide. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our PI chart. So this is our pre-image and then this is our image. So when we set up our PI chart, the first thing we're going to do on our graph paper is to graph the ordered pairs of the triangle that we see in the Khan Academy graph. So I've transferred that triangle to my graph. When I did that, I looked at point A. I started at the origin, which is 0, negative 5. So I went 0 on the x-axis and negative 5 on the y. And that's where I got my 0, negative 5. For B, I went 2 on the x-axis and up 2 on the y-axis. So my B is 2, 2. Start on the origin and I went 7 on the x on the x-axis and I didn't go up on the y-axis. So my C is 7, 0. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the instructions. The instructions up here say that we're going to translate. So translate means to slide. We're going to slide the triangle one unit to the left and five units up. So in order to show the work for that, we're going to write our pre-image chart one unit to the left and five units up. So if we are going to be doing one unit to the left, that means for our x values, we're going to add a negative one because we're going to the left. Remember that if I'm standing on the origin and I go left from the origin, everything is negative. If I go right from the origin, everything's positive. So if I were going to translate this triangle three units to the right, then I would be adding a positive three in this column. But I'm doing one to the left, so I'm going to add a negative one. So you're going to notice that I took my x values I took my x value, so I took my 0 and I wrote it here. And I took my x value from my b and wrote it here. And I took my x value from my c and wrote it here. And now, because I am translating it to the left, I'm going to add a negative 1. I'm going to add a negative 1, and I'm going to add a negative 1. Then I'm going to take my y values of negative 5, negative 5, and 2, and 2, and 0, and 0, and put it into the y column. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 because I'm going 5 up. Again, remember that if I'm on the If I'm on the origin, then I go up 5. I'm going up, so that's positive. If I were going to be going down, that would be a negative. So if I were going to translate this the triangle down 4, then it would be adding a negative 4 over in this column. But I'm going to do 5 up, so I'm going to go ahead and add my 5, add my 5, and add my 5. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and calculate out my new values. So 0, sorry, 0 plus negative 1 is going to be negative 1. And negative 5 plus 5 is going to be 0. 2 plus negative 1 is going to be 1, and 2 plus 5 is going to be 7. 7 plus negative 1 is going to be 6, and 0 plus 5 is going to be 5. So now I have the new ordered pairs for the translated triangle. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go ahead and graph. And so I'm going to 
start at my origin and I'm going to go negative 1 and I'm going to go negative 1, 0. So that's where my first ordered pair is going to be, negative 1, 0, and that's going to be my A prime. Now I'm going to go back to my origin and I'm going to go 1, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's going to be B prime. And then I'm going to go to my origin. And I'm going to go 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's going to be my C prime. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect my dots. So I have my triangle and it has translated or I have it's done a slide and it's gone one to the left and five up. Now here's one of my favorite parts of doing translations is because we can check it. So we go back to our A and you see our A I'm going to go one to the left and five up. One, two, three, four, five and I land on A prime. I'm going to go to B and I'm going to go one to the left and five up. One, two, three, four, five, and I land on B prime. And I'm going to go to C. I'm going to go one to the left and five up. One, two, three, four, five. And now I have C prime. So I can check using the actual translation on the graph, and I can confirm that my ordered pairs are correct. So now, how do I do this on my Khan Academy? So the first thing that I want you to do is to take your triangle and you'll notice that your green triangle moves. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up your ordered pairs on top of the blue triangle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to translate it using our ordered pairs. So we are going to go one to the left and five up. One, two, oops, dropped it. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice that that lands at negative five, negative one, zero. I'm going to take my B. I'm going to go one to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice that I land on one, seven. And I'm going to take C, one to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And now I've done my translation. At this point, you'll click the check button down here and you'll get some confetti that you have it right and you're ready to move on. And now you know how to graph on Khan Academy.